I am still trying to sort out all the material I have. It's a lot, and so this video will again be an assorted mix of video clips that accumulated in my archive. Some of these clips are short but self-explanatory. Some videos are of situations that I can't tell what is really happening, however the behavior in the monkeys is concerning. Listen to this VO make a noise at Luna and get her to become startled and scared. Some of you may remember the numerous times they were smearing rainbow with fruit or some ashy type material. But these are kind people. They care for these monkeys and wouldn't do the things I suspect, right? Not only is there trash scattered around everywhere, but these too. In this next clip, listen closely and maybe you can hear why Luna is choosing to be in the tree. <laughs> this came from Kunthia's channel, so you may understand why I think Dawn being this tired is odd. Speaking of Kunthia, here's her yet again disrespecting these monkey moms by trying to get her grubby hands on Lucy. All that makeup she rubbed on monkeys and she still can't get hers right. I have a tip for her to try. Maybe, just maybe, try not wearing such light colored foundation. Otherwise, it darkens your facial hair and at that angle it's not helping either. Now, normally I wouldn't point such things like this out. But amongst my frustration with the situation and her, I don't feel like refraining my thoughts. She has a mustache, it is what it is. In this next clip you will see Luna holding on to Angela. This was while she was still pregnant, keep in mind and I want you to pay close attention to Angela's abdomen. It's very low on the bottom of the screen. But listen to the noises as you do so. I feel that it's safe to assume that this happens all the time with Libby and Rainbow. You can see nearly the same response happening here with Luna and Angela as you would with Libby and Rainbow. <laughs> it happens too quick to capture anything, but you see where she looks and flinches. <laughs> You can see it in this clip though. What is so funny, I wonder? Because I see nothing funny about this? Let me know what you think is going on here. So many instances where Luna tried to keep Rainbow and Angela close to her as the VOs created chaos right before she gave birth. 
They have no respect and enjoy the things they do, in my opinion as you can often hear them laughing. Sadly, Luna's behaviors are looking more and more like Libby's. I don't understand how some people can't see the change in Luna. They blame the monkey and not the humans that are surrounding them that are causing it. Carrying a baby monkey by the teeth is not a normal behavior and to me, it's a reaction to a situation surrounding them. What the situation is, I can't say, you can tell it's chaotic based on the clips, and you can tell it's caused by humans. Because if there weren't human interference and if these weren't abused and or raised as pet monkeys, then the normal response to a stressful environment would be that the baby clings on, and the adult either reconciles with the monkey aggressors in the area, submits, or escapes. Libby was never given the chance to properly raise her baby due to the human interference and Angela was an abused pet monkey. Then there's the adults like Luna and Libby who they themselves were abused pets and not raised with a mother of their own. However, there are plenty of wild monkeys in the area that they could learn from but they're not given the chance in my opinion. These people just continue to treat these monkeys as if they own them and not in a caring and loving way at all. Any of visual appearance of love and caring has always been faked because of the countless times they've been spotted doing things to the monkeys. But rather, these monkeys are a camera prop meant to do what they're told and nothing else. From everything I have seen, their well-being is always disregarded. That is animal exploitation. I would love to see the VOs change and make things better but, with how long this has been going on, and with the lack of respect for wildlife, I just don't believe they're capable of that. This is a day or two after Luna gave birth. Notice her breathing. It's like she's been chased. In my opinion, she didn't go near the Amber Troop on her own accord because of how startled she became of Bonita. I believe she was chased there. She looks so exhausted. Side note, this is a much better distance to record. If only this were a thing. Lastly, during this time, many people were concerned about Luna having blood loss which was occurring approximately a week after giving birth. Someone became skeptical of me when I mentioned the possibility of menstruation after giving birth. Now, admittedly, I have no personal experience in giving birth, nor do I know when the specific timing of when this happens to monkeys after birth. However, I am aware that the process is similar to humans. My interest lies in macaque behavior. Because I'm uninformed in that area, I somehow was deemed not credible in my skeptic's eyes. They even accused me of being a man, which amused me, especially since I am a woman. Nevertheless, I do know that at the exact same time Luna was shown to be bleeding, the exact same thing was happening to Katrina, yet no one took notice. American Monkey brought attention to her in an alarming manner leading me to believe that he was resorting to clickbaiting and causing panic for views. So, am I truly the one lacking credibility, when it is he, who is with these monkeys every day? Surely, he would know it's a normal occurrence after birth and he wouldn't need to be a woman to know that. This wouldn't be the first time he's done that. There are mistakes when talking to an audience on this platform and I understand that. But I believe that was a way to conjure up some clicks. He knows way more than he actually says. Anyways, I'm limited due to YouTube's guidelines and what I can show. So I won't be showing anything too graphic. But, here's confirmation that shows Katrina demonstrated the same menstruation as Luna. 
Here you will see Katrina from a distance. In the same fashion as Luna was doing in several videos, at that time, that were posted on many channels where she reaches for her rump. Based off this evidence, I would guess that menstruation can happen between 1 to 3 weeks for pigtailed macaques, give or take, after birth. But if anyone knows definitively if this is the case, please comment below. I don't mean to make this video so much about Luna, and I know many people are concerned about Dawn. I am too. I have found something in my opinion, compelling. That video will come soon. There's also other monkeys people have requested I make videos on. Once I can, I will make videos on them as well. This is why I'm trying to clear out some of my archive. I've ran out of space on my hard drive. Thank you and make sure you report any animal abuse seen here on YouTube.